So here is the food diary. Now, I don't like that it's a slim world layout, but what I've decided to do is start it tomorrow. And I'm just going to plan out a couple of days at a time. So like maybe three days, do a midweek shop. Um, so see what I've got in, do a midweek shop so I can work out what I feel like fancying in the next couple of days. Because I feel like planning a whole week um, as a single person is quite difficult. And sometimes I get to here and I feel completely fed up. I don't want what's on the plan because I already know what's coming. So I feel like if I do it up to Wednesday or Thursday, even Thursday could just be an idea. But then just sort of do a three day at a time plan rather than a whole week plan. Because then I switch it up and change it um, a little bit. And it's more, more seamless that way. So I think that's what I'm going to do is do half a week at a time. So three and four days. And then go from there because otherwise I end up falling off the wagon here because I'm bored. So yeah, and this is just an idea of some of the things that I've got. So yeah, this is what I might have I next week. It's also worth noting I am not a planner when it comes to food. I hate, sometimes I get home and I think, oh my God, I don't want that. Or that's too much hassle today, etc. Um... And so these are just ideas. So make sure I've got, look at the food that I've got and the food that I plan to buy or look through my recipe books, try one new recipe, which is something like uh, my mango curry, which I've already made um, and have that. Um, but these are like ideas of what to have. So make sure I've got the ingredients to have them. And then ingredients can be so versatile that if you don't fancy that, but you're suddenly on this day having the chicken salad, but actually... You really really want a sweet potato with hummus on it or a sweet potato with um some bolognese on top with a little bit of cheese you can go with that instead um but just an idea of what to buy at the shop so you can sort of form a form some sort of shopping list hey so went out with my family today had a really good day um popped in some shops i'm very breathless a day out with the family is exhausting but i thought i'd show you what i've got so I usually use this satin tape floss. Sometimes I can't find it anywhere. So I'm going to try the same brand. But the Essentials Floss apparently is shredding proof. They're about £2. To Sainsbury's uh, to get a few bits. Excuse me. Over there is some corn flour. I couldn't find it on the shelf. Because it used to be in a red box. But I couldn't see it. So I asked the lady and she pointed out. I said, ah, my other one was a red box. She said, yeah, this one's a Tory. I was like, ah, oh, you can keep it then. And we both laughed. And it was quite funny. I picked up a lime as well. Around the back of Mitten's bum. Two packets of rice just for really quick days. Sometimes it's necessary. Then we went to Home Bargains. Oh my gosh, I can't breathe. These have already eaten a mint one. Of these. Really, really nice. Um, they have... A good amount of protein in them okay so i found it here is the strawberry cheese flavor cheesecake flavor 100 grams 7.1 grams of fat so that's an amber um 4.2 saturate it's not too bad sugars are 2.7 so that's really good um and in each protein bar we've got oh, bless you darling 13 grams of protein in that one I think this one will probably be the same 7.9 and sugars 2.8 so it's not too horrendous per bar there is also 13 for the chocolate brownie they were 89p each that's a bargain <laughs> it's a few grams less than a fulfill bar but a whole pound cheaper so you can get two of those for the price of a full fill bar and then boost your protein then these in Holland and Barrett are two pound each. These were two for three pounds, so one pound fifty each. Twenty grams of protein per bar. Here is the label. They're not the best labeled, obviously. They're not horrendous either. Uh, my sister bought me this shaker. It's got two compartments. One, two three so shakes powders powders with that i think it was two pounds 79 
um, and I've got a shaker ball that I somehow accumulate from somewhere um, in the cupboard. And then I picked up, she picked me up this, she bought me this, uh, the peppermint ice cream flavour protein, um, which is actually not too bad in its um, form. So per 30 grams scoop, you've got 22 grams of protein, so that's pretty good. Per 100 grams, you've got 6.2 grams of sugar. It's just slightly high, but you've got a lot of protein for that, so it's not too horrendous. Uh, fat is 8.8. .8. Again, it's an amber thing, but the amount of protein, I feel like that's worth it. So I'm going to try that. Then I picked up these. I think they were less than a pound. I thought I'd try them. And then I saw these. Now, I've been looking for a meal planning diary. Unfortunately, it has got Slimming World... Um, situation going on but i won't use it for that so it's a 12 week countdown that's why i've got two so i've got six months um here you've got your measurements you've got your week front page aim to lose left to lose all the things that you've done in the week and additional notes or extra goals then we've got the food planner for the week you've got a shopping list You've got, obviously, a shopping list. Then you've got here, the store cupboards and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, and then you can write out and then cross off what you've got. Here you've got the exercise tracker, which isn't really relevant to me at the moment. Uh, maybe in six months' time it will be. Then we've got our diaries. So you've got the day, A choice, B choice, which I don't like because I'm not doing Slimming World. But for there, I'm just going to put whether I've had tea or coffee, tea and protein, or to keep a track of how much protein I've had in the day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, water. Obviously, these are sins. You're 15 sins a day. I'm not going to bother with that. But what I am going to do is use that as a score between 1 and 15 of how good I feel um, or how full I feel at the end of the day. So I think that's what I'm going to do with that. Then you get to the end and you've got a weekly summary, What you, whether you've lost, maintained or gained. You've got your motivations. So uh, motivations could be, for me, it's just um, feeling better in my skin um, and counteracting steroid situation and not feeling hungry. Um, if weight loss comes from that, it's great. Um, but it's about a health change and a lifestyle change for me challenges what could be difficult so the coming week it will be i'm um, due a period so that can sometimes make me have really bad cravings and i can end up binging what my goal is so the goal weight achievements um this week so whether you felt good whether you felt bad what you lost etc favorite foods others and some notes and then it starts all over again um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you that. These were £2, which I thought was a bargain.